The excitement building for television's biggest night, the Emmys, but this year the pandemic has changed everything as we know. And overnight, we got a taste of what's to come with the Creative Arts Emmys already awarded. ABC's Chris Connolly joins us from Los Angeles with more. Chris, good morning. Hey, good morning. Yeah, Creative Arts Emmys wrapping up last night. Primetime Emmys tonight, hoping to use comedy and creativity to navigate the social distancing era. Tonight, amid the pandemic, it'll be a primetime Emmys unlike any other. No red carpet outside Staples Center, no audience inside it, and no problem for this year's show, with Jimmy Kimmel as your host. How will we pull it off this year? I don't know. What is your favorite season? Awards. From the sweetly comic roses, surviving and thriving up the creek, and Rami's Egyptian-American loved ones. They want a man like you. A man who feels a little bit like a woman, but is still officially a man. To the Mandalorian's baby Yoda caregiving. This little bog wing is what all the fuss was about. And the savage rivalries of the Roys in succession. You can't make a Tomlet without breaking some Greggs. Shows about families toxic and tender could enjoy an Emmy-filled evening. The only political statement I want to make is this. Much like the one Saturday night, the last round of the Creative Arts Emmys, with RuPaul winning for reality host. Ron Cephas Jones winning his second guest actor in a drama Emmy for This Is Us, also celebrating the victory of his daughter, Hamilton star Jasmine Cephas Jones, a web series Emmy winner for Free Ray Sean, the first father and daughter victory in the same year in Emmy history. I cheer up every time I think about it. So that's been the highlight of this whole journey is to have my daughter follow in our footsteps. The Last Dance out docking Tiger King for best documentary series. Yet another big victory for Michael Jordan. And Maya Rudolph adding to her voiceover Emmy victory for Big Mouth with a guest actress in a comedy series win. I just want to show you how good you could have had it, America. <laughs> for her SNL work as senator and now vice presidential nominee, Kamala Harris. SNL is one of those magical places, so usually when they ask me to jump, most of the time I say how high. Wherever 2020's primetime Emmy nominees might be, we'll see them react, and the show will go on. 130 video kits sent to nominees in 10 different countries and a ring light to give those potential winners that Emmy winning glow with. <laughs> the ring light always necessary, even for the stars. Chris, thank you so much. Of course, be sure to join Chris, me, Janae and Eva uh, this evening on ABC News Live for our countdown to the Emmys. That's starting at 630 p.m. Eastern. So we're getting the party started just a little bit early tonight. I had to get extra directions for my ring light when we had those kits installed <laughs> yeah. in our house because I didn't use it correctly. Apparently, it's not as simple as it seems. Yep. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.